Do you want to go up, child? I'm sorry, but the train isn't in service anymore. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. The people who went up there never returned. I still don't know what happened, but I do know this. The cathedral is off limits forever. If you're determined to pass, you must prove your identity. Who are you? Are you a stalker? Interesting. I thought all the stalkers died when the workshop tower collapsed. As for me, I'm as good as dead. A sinner who lost everyone I ever loved. I have no right to stop someone as determined as you. Please be safe up there. Please be safe. Gentlemen, welcome aboard the Pilgrim's Cable Railway. Now, those of you who joined us in Moonlight Town, we hope your preparations for the Pilgrim's Journey are well underway. Fascinating town, Moonlight, just fascinating. Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral was using a rope and pulley. <laughs> so, thanks for building it on a cliff, St. Frangelico. I kid, I kid. Frangelica, wonderful saint, wonderful. Anyway, next stop, the Bridge of Atonement. While you atone there, don't miss a magnificent view of beautiful Crot. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini! <laughs> well, not bad, huh? Oh, I really am good at this. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> You, uh, you look annoyed. What I do? Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get a move on, pal. Oh, something's off. Do you see that over there? I recognize dead puppets, that's to be expected, but what is that? idea what those things are, pal. Close with caution.
happening? What's their problem? Wait, wait, their bodies are strangely altered. I don't know what's going on, but keep those eyes of yours open. Mercy, I beg you, don't kill me. <sighs> I thought you were from the organization. Uh, never mind. My name is Janjo. I'm an alch... Uh, a pharmacist. Yes, pharmacist. I'm looking for the legendary gold coin fruit. I was able to use medicine to slow the infection spread. I have the petrification disease and I need a cure. Sorry, I ramble when I'm nervous. Read this. It'll explain things faster than I can. M many substances can be poisonous. The precise dose is what separates medicine from poison. The gold coin fruit might just be a myth. But in the midst of an epidemic, it might be our salvation. C can you let me know if you find it? I'll give you this by way of payment. The people of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. They claimed special powers after distilling the wish into a cube made from a meteorite. I don't know how it works, but it's said to react to someone who has ergo and grant them power. If you can help me with the gold coin tree, I'll give you more of this. Seems there's a new threat every day, friend. And no safe place in the world. No place to just take a breath. I'm headed to the St. Frangelico Cathedral. Perhaps find some peace there. If you find the gold coin tree, please find me there. People of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a They claimed special power. I, I don't you ever wish upon a star, Stalker? I hope this wish stone helps you with that. The people of they claimed special powers? Uh, I, I don't know how it works. You ever wish.
I'll use my power to help. I'll use my power to help you. Gold coin trees are said to blossom when plague stalks the land. P perhaps they've already bloomed somewhere in Krat. Gold coin trees.
Isn't this uh, a cryptic vessel? Well, I would expect nothing less from you. What I mean, of course, is that this is a humble invention of mine. A cipher device. Once your information is locked in here, only you can get it out. <laughs> of course, once people realize the value of a truly unbreakable way to keep secrets, knockoffs flood the market. The trials and travails of true genius. Forever copied, never credited. But, I admit, even some of these knockoffs could still hold secrets. You're welcome to take a crack at, uh, well, cracking it. Who knows? It could lead you to something truly valuable. Or at least more practical. May I be of assistance? I can decipher this in moments, if you'd allow me. I admit I'm a bit rusty, but it's all starting to come back to me. Genius never sleeps and never truly abandons the truly brilliant. What? No, of course I didn't read the contents. Who has time to read anymore? <laughs> but uh, I could help you read it if you want to. I'll use my power to help you. I'll use my power.
Uh, for your information. Welcome to Hotel Prat. 
How may I be of service? The stalkers are Kratz Vigilantes. There are two groups of them, the Bastards and the Sweepers. The Bastards are an organization of guards for the Alchemists and the Workshop. Motto, Honor or Nothing. The Sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto, we always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent, but most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? The Grand Covenant. Welcome to Hotel. This is a supply box, officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. Welcome to Hotel. I'm surprised to see who's, well, alive. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Cecile, and I serve the Archbishop. I'm the only one left. 
Everyone's dead. From the petrification disease, or from the monsters. I didn't die. But my heart breaks more each day. Can you do me a kindness? Bring me the holy mark from the Archbishop's quarters. The Archbishop was a true saint. He was my savior. If I write his words into my heart, maybe it'll give me the strength to carry on. I can't die. But perhaps this can help me live again. Please, bring me the holy mark as quickly as you can. I can't die.
night. I can't find the way out. Monsters everywhere. I need to grab my share and leave. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. Sure, I don't need to introduce myself? Note these golden wings? Yes, you guessed it. You don't know who I am. Preposterous! Everyone in Kraut has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? I'm Alidoro the Hound. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Yes, yes, it's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. I'm looking for other survivors of this disaster, but it's uh, been a lonely search, and there's danger around every corner. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Vanini works. I didn't give that place much thought. That's where the puppets are being made, after all. But I heard tell of a shelter there as well. With no first-hand knowledge, I suppose I have to trust you. I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. A thank you gift. Take it. Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my collection. Show me what you're worthy of. As a descendant of aristocrats, the very best families, I have a duty to the common people. I live my life fulfilling that duty. And part of that duty is ensuring these items are returned to their rightful owners. What I'm showing you is just a portion of the collection. If you come to the refuge, we'll be able to continue our confabulation. Until then, remember this hound when golden wings shine. Since you're so helpful, I'll...
Oh, thank you. Just seeing the Archbishop's holy mark renews my spirit. It's a reminder of the quiet power of faith. I'll remember this forever, Stalker. It's a reminder of the quiet... humans who I'll use my power to I'll use my power to help. I'll use my
set. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to the old Krat. The old me. Before the green overtook me. You? I didn't think we'd ever meet again. Can't say I'm happy to see you, though. <clears throat> Sorry, I let my frustration get the better of me. This place is crawling with hostile puppets. You must have known that, but you still sent me here. Honor and trust are everything to this hound. You've insulted me to the core. I'll never forgive you. But perhaps there's a shred of decency in you? So I'll ask again. Do you know of a safe place? <laughs> nice try, but I've been there already and I know better. The puppets have already destroyed that place. <sighs> Again, you spurn my trust. But even a brave soul like me cannot afford another enemy in times like these. I shall show you mercy. Perhaps it will inspire a nobler spirit in you. But beware. Do not fool me ever again. You tricked me with your lie. You disappoint me. But I'm no stranger to beneficence, so I shall let it pass one more time. Know that even my forgiveness has its limits. Remember, the hound's fangs crave the traitor's neck. You tricked me with your luck. But I'm no str... It seems the hotel is the only other option. That book reminds me, have you ever heard the fairy tale about a mischievous wooden puppet? All of Krat knows the story, all because of someone who loved that story more than anyone else. Ah, but this is strange, I, I do not recall who exactly was that someone. Oh, it's you. This hotel is indeed a refuge from the dangers of the outside world. I and the Hound, a descendant of the city's most aristocratic families, repaying debts is what we nobles do. Betrayal creates a debt that is particularly hard to pay back. But 
I am a man with generosity and mercy in abundance. I shall give you the honor of viewing my treasure so that you may apologize. However, you must prove your worthiness. For this legendary treasure, mm, the ergo of a powerful enemy shall suffice. It's up to you if you want to make the exchange. Take your time to admire it. I've certainly done likewise. I've been investigating the puppet frenzy, and it looks like I need your help. First, let me show you a little something I've been working on. I call it the Ergo Wavelength Decoder. Mm, the name lacks a certain flair, but I assure you it works. If my suspicions are correct, something in the puppet's very Ergo is causing their aggression. My decoder can find malicious signals within the waves, but I cannot possibly get close enough to gather the Ergo wave records myself. You, on the other hand, would you? Could you? I... I refuse to believe the King of Puppets is truly behind this... this puppet rampage. It's too simple, but also a bit too much even for him. No. I suspect the Ergo itself is corrupted, or at least compromised. I do so desperately want to find the cause, as I'm sure you do too, my friend. It breaks my heart to see puppets turned into murderous tools of bloodshed. I always welcome friends. Seeking refuge became monsters somehow. But the petrification disease turns you to stone, not into a monster. I'm worried about the Malam district, just below the cathedral. I wonder whether there are monsters there, too.
once, Krat was just a small town on the coast of little importance. Before Elysian Boulevard was built, this place literally was all there was of Krat. But when some in the city prospered, they, they left the old town behind. Through isolation and neglect, Krat's first incarnation became nothing but dangerous alleys and desperate slums. On the bright side, I guess, the whole city of Krat's pretty much like that now. Yeah, the old town caught up with the new. It's true what they say. A receding tide sinks all boats. <laughs>